Hey guys, this is Jason here. Just thought I would do an update video. Um, well, we didn't have any winds today and it was raining and cloudy. Um, really bad cloudy all day. And we, so we didn't have wind, we didn't have sun. Um, so my batteries were low. And, well, I had to plug in again right here. Yes, Corky. Right here. <laughs> Not Corky. Right. <laughs> right here. Just quit licking me. If I got it, Corky. Stop it. Right here. It's where it plugs into the back of my uh, the the uh, power inverter battery charger plugs into the back of my power box here. This has got all the fuses and breakers and everything in it. For 12 volt and the 110 stuff. Very quirky. Good boy. But uh, yeah, so I have to plug in, and it's always sad when I have to plug in to charge up my batteries again. Um, let's see, some things I've added uh, recently are some of these uh, these LED lights. Um, I went through and I changed all my lighting in the all of these are these lights. These you can get four of these for ten dollars. Um, they work really good. They uh, use way less power, so that's a thing that I've added. Uh, instead of using a bulb like this, that's what my my lights used to use, and now I use all these LED ones, and they're really bright. Um, they're a warm white, not see that one there looks blue these ones are uh, just kind of a, a little not as blue they're they're a white but they're um, they're not as orange as this and they're not as blue as that so they're kind of in between and it's really nice light in here so I've been happy with those uh, let's see what else I got a new charge controller this here is a real MPPT 30 amp charge controller. It has no stickers or it's not fancy or nothing. No stickers on it or nothing. It's uh, real basic, but it is MPPT. I bought this. Um, this is a watt meter thing, so that I can make sure that it is a true MPP charge controller, which it is. Um, and so that makes. Uh, this only goes up to 60 volts so right now I'm only running my uh, incoming power uh, as 24 volts just so I can make sure that this is working but what I want to do is I want to switch that over this can handle up to 150 volts incoming power um, it says 30 amps I don't know if that means 30 amps incoming power or 30 amps output power so uh, I read through the booklet and it's still I not sure about how that works so maybe you guys can give me a little bit of a help with that if it's 30 amps incoming power or 30 amps output power I don't want to burn it up because um, yeah MPPT the multi PowerPoint tracking controllers are kind of expensive this one was only 180 bucks um, but still I mean they're kind of uh, that's still kind of expensive for a charge controller considering this 80 amp pulse width modulation charge controller only cost me like 50 bucks this one cost me 80 bucks and it's a 30 amp but it is multi power point tracking this one's just pulse width modulation and you're like well, what's the difference well this one here will take the higher incoming voltage and convert it to lower voltage higher amps this one doesn't this just takes the incoming high voltage and cuts it down and makes it so it can charge 12 volt batteries whereas this one can, takes that higher voltage cuts it down and makes higher amperage so there's a big difference this is a lot more efficient using these uh, multi power point tracking units really big difference and I didn't notice it until I actually tried it so and this is a cheap one the cheapest one I could find 
and it works. It works good. So, yeah, definitely invest into that. Um, if you're going to do uh, like 24 volt solar to charge a 12 volt battery bank, or you want to take a whole bunch like three 24 volt solar panels, which would be like 108 volts incoming. Um, uh, and you want to charge a 24 volt battery bank um, you can do that also so it's like it doesn't matter you, you can I got three panels out there hooked up three 24 volt solar panels 8 amps um, three 8 amp solar panel <laughs> three 8 amp 24 volt solar panels out there and so right now uh, it's like I could hook them all up and it would be like 108 amps or 108 volts at 8 amps coming in on this line right here. So, and that and then it this would convert it back down to 12 volts, uh, whatever amperage, like 30 amps around coming in, or 26 amps coming in, I think. I don't know all the mathematics and stuff but either way it does work um, right now I'm just running it at 24 volts because this only handles up to 60 volts this little blue thing here and so I'll have to take that out when I um, put all those solar panels all those three 24 volt solar panels into like a, what do they call it series or parallel uh, whichever one makes the voltage high the voltage higher and the amperage lower. So we also I had to take out um, I had another little solar charge controller that we built and I had it sitting off to the side here that we're always using for uh, the um, I brought my little Chinese turbine in here and hooked it up um, and I had it running through the MPPTE um, multi power point tracking charge controller and it worked pretty good and so, um, but since that little charge controller, um, I'm not done with it yet, and I don't want uh, uh, people to see it yet, uh, I took it out so that it, you, it's not in the video here right now. But um, I think I might actually end up producing that little charge controller before I put this one on the market, because this one's a lot more complicated. <laughs> the other one's a lot more simple, a lot easier to use. Um, something that I could probably put on the market a lot quicker and be useful for people who are trying to run uh, these type of charge controllers on their wind turbines to charge batteries which is a good thing because you get a lot more amperage and um, you, you look at uh, um, Orlando's videos he's doing the same thing uh, multi power point tracking uh, uh, charger hooked up to his batteries off of his wind turbine and it does work it works pretty good really so um, but I wanted to have a dump load on it so that I can keep it from going over 150 volts or 100 volts right now I have it set I had it set at 100 volts but um, so that worked pretty good so I'm gonna experiment with that some more and I, I think I might uh, actually release that one before I release this one this charge controller down here and then uh, yep my little 500 still sitting here um, going to hit uh, take it apart straighten it up get it ready to, I might ship it out depending on how much the prices are uh, for a buddy of mine um, I don't know uh, and then me and my other buddy here in Washington uh, I, I we'll probably end up buying a better uh, uh, more powerful PMA or PMG the freedom might be a really good one to buy um, so but I might ship this out to somebody else that might really need it um, really be able to use it it might be good for them I'm gonna, so I'm gonna check the prices on how much the shipping is to get it to them and uh, but yeah you know so that's about it you know I've just you know in the fireplace hanging out in the man cave my little quirky boy I'm gonna Got to build him a new wheelchair. Oh. Isn't that right, Corky? Yeah, all he wants is food. Hey, Corky, you want food? Yeah. He's a good 
boy. But anyway, yeah, so I thought I would give you an update. Um, I got a new a little generator coming in that I'm going to convert to uh, propane so I can run it off my propane tanks on my trailer. Uh, I could also run it off of the house, uh, the natural gas on the house. So that's going to be cool. Um, it's just a little one, but it's a force cycle um, so that you don't have to mix the fuel, which is good. But yeah, that's that should be showing up sometime, maybe Friday or something. I don't know. The the uh, Thanksgiving holiday might uh, mess with uh, shipping with that. But other than that, um, that's about it, you guys. I haven't really done a whole lot. Uh, everything's been working like it's supposed to. Uh, the new charge controller is working pretty good. I I've been holding off on this video so I can do testing on it and make sure it's a real MPPT uh, charge controller. <clears throat> The multi PowerPoint tracking and it is it really is and it's only about 180 bucks for a 30 amp with free shipping uh, so yeah I mean for a 30 amp multi PowerPoint tracking charge controller it's not very fancy it shows the incoming volt or it shows the volts and the amps that are outgoing from it and that's about it you can have a load on it uh, where it automatically kicks on and off and whatever I never use those, but it works. I mean, I, I'm happy with it. It, it. It's a lot better, like I say, than the old pulse width modulation charge controller I was using. So I'm getting a lot better charging on my batteries. Uh, all right. Um, yeah, so that's about it. This video has gone on way too long already. All right. Thanks for watching, you guys. Uh, I'll talk to you later. And... Uh, you know, I, I'll try to keep you up to date on what's going on around here and this new little charge controller I'm building. Alright, talk to you later. Bye-bye.